Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and in this video I'll be showing you the accordion books that I just finished up. I do have a tutorial or press style video um, if you want to actually see how I made these books. Um, I'll quickly fi flip through two of them because of the three, these two are pretty much um, identical even down to the paper. Um, the only difference is the papers that I used on the covers um, front and back. And both of these, or all three of the books, are um, essentially identical in terms of structure and format. So simple ribbon closure and when you flip in, this is meant to be sort of a, um, like a birthday or important date book. So you would write down all of your important dates in each month and each month has its own page. I've printed out on some lightweight cardstock, just some simple lined paper. And this is actually, um, uh, just held in place with some photo corners. That way, if, um, I'm giving these out as gifts. And so, um, one of them is going to my mom and the other is going to my mother-in-law. And so if they feel like it's easier to kind of write the dates and whatnot by taking this out and filling it out, then um, I've left that option for them. Or if they fill up an entire page, they can always flip it around to the back side and, and add a second page if they need. Um, and so you just flip through and each month um, has its own page, its own sheet. And the papers that I used um, for this one, I think is a uh, first edition um, paper pack. In the back here is a policy envelope. And this I made using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, journal pocket punch board. And I do have a video on how to create a custom size um, pocket if that's something that you're interested in because they do list a good variety of sizes, but you can actually make, um, you know, just about any size pocket you want. I think there's a maximum um, width, but um, I show you in that video how to figure out where to place the pegs for the dimension of pocket that you want. And in the tutorial video for this book, I'll show you how I actually uh, created the policy envelope and um, and how I modified even um, this envelope, even though it is one of the sizes that uh, the punch board does have instructions for, but I made some slight modifications so that I could actually have enough room on the flap um, to fit this little disc here so that I could have this neat little closure. And these are just held in with brads. And in here, I've put some additional um, of these lined uh, sheets. So I put, fit in quite a few, so it's a bit of a snug fit. But um, that way, there's extras in case in case she finds that she needs, or if um, she wrote something and then thought, oh, you know, I didn't like how I wrote it down. One of the reasons why I use photo quarters to put this in here is because, as I was thinking about making this and as I was uh, making my first one, I really started to fall in love with it. But then the idea um, occurred to me that for my own, because I wanted to actually make one for myself, I knew that if these papers were actually glued down, I would I would feel intense pressure to like write really neatly and not make any mistakes at all. And, um, and I didn't want, you know, my mom or my mother-in-law to feel that way. And so I figured the, the best thing to do was to make sure that this was removable so that they could, if they felt like they messed up and it wasn't as, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. This is, um, you know, just for them to use and hopefully, um, you know, keep their dates. And, um, and it's just for personal use. No one else is going to be seeing it but them. But I just didn't want them to feel like, oh, it just has to be so neat and tidy. Um, so uh, you may notice I'm, I'm at my back cover, but I'm only at June. So where's the other half of the month? Well, what's really cool about these accordion style books is you just keep flipping 
And then you have the back of all of those pages and you can just continue to flip through until you're right back around to the front cover again. So I really, really love this style of book. It's the first accordion style book that I've made and um, I've absolutely fallen in love with it. I'm definitely going to make more. And um, what's really nice is that there's no, you know, there's no spine. It's a very um, sturdy book. I did use chipboard on um, the front and back covers, but as you can see, there's no spine. And let me just quickly flip through this one. It's going to be the exact same uh, structure, so so nothing too different, just different paper pads. So here I used uh, the DCWV Far East paper pad. And, you know, I thought about putting a, a title on here so that they knew what it was, but I think they'll quickly realize what it is once they open it and they'll realize how to use it. But in particular with this one, the paper is just such a statement piece that I really didn't want to add anything else to it. And um, and I wanted to keep it really flat and simple because if they wanted to throw this in a purse or um, like a book bag or, or whatever, that they could do that and not feel like they're gonna damage any, you know, you know, dimensional flowers or anything that was adorned here. So we really went for um, practicality and um, stability and sturdiness and just durability. So everything um, is reinforced with Tyvek. Um, the page size themselves, I used a Tonic Studios memory book um, die set. And for the months, I love these. These are from Hunky Dory. And they're really cute because each each month has its own little kind of icon or graphic that goes along with it. And then with February, you get these two little cute little hearts that drop out. And so I just use those as embellishments on the page. And I use the exact same papers. Um, this one's going to my mom and I use the exact same papers on mine. Except that um, I didn't use the nice mirror foil. I used uh, the same pearlescent uh, foil or gold, pearlescent gold uh, cardstock that is in this inside cover. And I think the, the mirror actually looks a little bit better um, on here. And then also what reminded me to mention that is on mine, when I cut this particular page, I actually cut some of the, um, the selvage at the at the bottom of this um, and so it wasn't actually a full full uh, cut so I decided to just redo um, the same book for for my mom and I just made a couple of improvements on hers um, so really pretty same thing with the policy envelope um, these are just punched out of um, cardstock that I stacked and glued together so they're they're pretty neat, good um, thickness and it's a three-quarter inch punch and I'm just using embroidery thread as um, the closure here and then two little brads there and just like the other one you reach the back the papers in this paper pad are just they're just gorgeous I, I, I love them um, it was really um, tough to actually choose what I want it as my front and back cover. September does actually have a little icon. It's a little tree, but the the month is so long <laughs> that it couldn't fit the whole the whole thing. So it looks like the plainest month, but um but in actuality the dye did include a little it's kind of like a fall tree where all the leaves are uh have fallen already. Um so Really, really gorgeous, and same with November. A lot of these little stars here drop out, and so I just kept those um, little stars and added them as accents around the page. So um, a lot of times what I find is when I'm making something for somebody else, I put just a little bit more effort in <laughs> than as a... Um, you know, with these small little touches and stuff, when it's just for yourself, you know, sometimes it's just, uh, sometimes it's just good enough. <laughs> but um, 
But yeah, if you want to learn how to make these, um, definitely check out my tutorial. I'll le leave a link to it in um, the description box and at the end as well. And they come together really quickly. Um, it's a fairly simple book design and it could easily be a mini album instead of, um, you know, writing down dates, you could easily um, put photos in this and, and turn it into a photo book. So it's, it's really fun. I'm definitely going to be making more. I love that you don't have to, you know, create a hinge or a spine. And I just love the novelty of, you know, reaching the back cover and then just flipping the whole thing over and then continuing to flip through. Um, oh, one thing I didn't show is the other, the other way you could view this is you could, you could just stretch the whole thing out. So that's another way of, um, if you just wanted to look at several months at the same time, you could definitely do that too. So, um, so really fun. Um, and I think, I think it's going to be, um, like a neat, um, uh, no, I won't want to say novelty, but I think for, especially for my mom, I don't think she would have ever seen anything like this before. So I think she's going to really, um, you know, find some joy out of it. And hopefully both my mom and my mother-in-law will find really good use out of it because I did um, try to make traces that really um, kind of enhance the durability of the albums. And that way, hopefully it is something that's going to last over time. It's something that they can take out and use on a regular basis, look at and, um, you know, write in and, um, you know, keep year after year. So um, I think it's going to get, hopefully, a lot more use than what a um, typical mini album would. So that's um, this project. Thank you so much for joining me. I um, uh, hope that you'll check out the tutorial if you're interested in learning how to make it. And if you um, enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and um, until my next video, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Thanks. Bye.